In another development, the United Nations has tasked Nigeria to invest more in the host communities of victims of conflict and insurgency to address the mental health and properly reintegrate especially women and children back into the society. Deputy General Secretary Amina Mohamed given the charge at a consultative meeting with women leaders and conflict-affected women and girls in Nigeria said political and women leaders should be held accountable for the pains of these victims. Justin Bemui reports. From the testimonies given by some key players in conflict-affected areas in the country, and how it affects women and girls, there are indications that Nigeria is grappling with a complex humanitarian emergency that is taking a toll on a number of people in not just the Northeast, but in other zones. The consultative meeting with a high-level delegation from the United Nations re-echoed the need for government to take action to implement policy frameworks for the interventions in post-conflict reconstruction and rebuilding processes. What we've listened to, you don't have to come from a specific political party to be for. Every woman, as long as she is in a position of authority, whatever authority, we have to be able to work together. And therefore, pushing for women's caucuses in different parliaments so that those women caucuses can speak in one voice. The need to empower you, to give you the possibility of having a life of dignity, of regaining your self-esteem and pride and uh, your educational needs. The trauma and mental health of women and girls mostly experienced in the face of conflict amid sexual exploitation and gender-based violence call for a relentless concern. The UN Deputy Secretary General says it is important for the state to be careful not to rather create and sow seeds of other conflicts in the future in an effort to overcome existing conflicts. Some place has to be a turning point where we say no more. Some place has to be a place where we forget the diplomacy, we forget upsetting people because it's not the correct thing to say. It's enough for the money we earn from the pain of others. Let us at least give something back by taking that pain away. So when they come back into the host communities, we are saying to governors, we are saying to the federal government, you must invest in those host communities because you have to strengthen them to take back our children, to take back our women, to take back our boys. The UN delegation had the chance to meet and interact with the 106 liberated Chibo school girls with a resounding welcome experience. Don't remain victims. You are not. You are survivors. And survivors are strong. We are also doing remedial studies for them because they had been out of school, all of them for over two years, some for over three years. So they must have forgotten uh, being young girls and in the condition they found themselves. The meeting was an awakening of hopes, dreams and encouragement for the school girls who are undergoing reintegration and rehabilitation, getting ready to resume school activities in September. Justin. Bem Uni, NTA News. We wish them the best of luck in September when they resume school.